Okay, so the second flipbook is still generating, uh, but you can see a massive difference already. So the right one is without disturbance. You can see it's very puffy, it's sort of more magical. And then the left one, you can see like it has a lot more detail and stuff, stuff in there. So that's what the disturbance is basically doing. And then the turbulence is sort of overall, uh, this, this like adding some overall noise in the whole thing. And then you have the, uh, the shredding also doing its magic. So I mean, I'd say, I mean, it's, it's a very different type of explosion than I had originally still, I'd say maybe it moves up a little bit too fast, but I think that might also have something to do with the, um, with the rigids that I have because my rigids really move up quite a lot more. Mm. Okay, so maybe what I wanna do is go in here. Maybe you want to decrease the amount that uh, this gets sourced. So maybe it, I wanted to only source 0.4. Um, oh, and oh, something, mm, no. Uh, so maybe I'm not having a look, like maybe I want to also decrease my buoyancy lift. I'm going to check what it does if I add gravity. I didn't have gravity actually in my original thing because I think it looked better without, I think in this case, maybe it might actually add some stuff to it. I'm not sure. Yeah, let me do check out this one. Okay, I'm gonna, I think I can do the gravity, but then I need to increase the buoyancy lift. So that it doesn't fall down as much. Mm. Not sure how much I like this gravity in there. Maybe I can do a little bit of gravity. Again, like as long as something looks good, I mean, it's all that matters. So we get maybe a little bit of gravity. Yeah, okay, this is already starting to look more in the direction that we probably wanted to go. Yeah, okay, so maybe this is quite cool. Boom. Maybe this might actually be quite quite cool because what we have here, because we still have, I didn't have that in my original, but uh, this already has more of a sort of, sort of streaky look instead of the standard sort of bulging explosion. So maybe this might look even look pretty cool in our pyro simulation or in our uh, flip simulation. Because remember, we're gonna switch to the flip at some point. I think maybe I might switch it on this one even earlier. I originally switched at frame 50, but I think if I'm looking at this, I think I might switch it around 40, right? That looks kind of cool. Let's add a couple more disturbances and then let's maybe just cash it out. So another disturbance. Let's make it smaller. Let me check what I did with the uh, strength. Let's make reference scale 50. Do another one. Three. Let's do it. Uh, like uh, five or something. So now we're stacking a couple of these disturbances. It's gonna be a little bit more interesting. I 
think I'm I think I'm actually kind of like this. Um, okay, so let's go to our original. Probably so I keep feeding it temperature. I probably don't want to do that. Let's uh copy and paste this in our temperature so that our temperature will also be scaled down. So now it will also increase in the beginning and then be scaled down a little bit. I think that's probably pretty cool. So when I'm looking at this, I think that maybe I am getting too much stuff over here. Thinking that probably has something to do with, uh, with the rigid. Because those sort of stick around over there, right? So maybe we want to have some control over that. So then we need to go back to our source and then start changing some stuff there. So let, let's go to our source and then tweak, tweak it a little bit over there. And yeah, I, I, right now I'm just actually playing, like this is a lot of stuff that, that I didn't do in my original thing. But I mean, when you're doing this, like it's dynamics, like every time, like, uh, I mean, if the input slightly changes, the entire thing, of course, really changes and you just anticipate, like you, you just look at the results and then you start changing your uh, your workflow a little bit based on all of that. So let's just have a look. So maybe what I want to do is maybe I actually want to put another delete. make it a bounding sphere. Maybe you actually want to sort of scale this upwards, sort of say that. So then we will scale those in the center down like that. Oh, it if you shift click, by the way, channel, then it opens up this control thing. Maybe we want to do that even faster. Or maybe, maybe less fast, but a little bit more intense. And again, this will just propagate through our, through our settings. Oh, and maybe what we want to do is we want to maybe link up our pyro resolution. So smoke object, copy parameter on division size, based around the preferences on our voxel size here. And then maybe when we do start doing a preview now, let's just decrease our division size over there. Let's go back into our visualization. It's probably going to be a little bit slower. So we up to resolution now. Let's delete this, disable this one again. So I'm thinking I'm gonna just unlink this and let's try to do it a 
lower resolution again. And the problem with Pi was always that if you change the resolutions, it, it your sim start changing quite significantly. So why is my visualization changing? That's a little bit weird. Uh, hmm. Checking the virus itself. Oh, okay, yeah, my original explosion here, of course. Uh, I wasn't sourcing any fuel. <laughs> so, okay, that was a little bit stupid. Anyway, I'll just leave it, leave these mistakes in the edit, and then you can learn from those. All right, so I'm just gonna put the remove thing again, and now let's actually have a look at how this looks. And again, like if it's not breaking, then I might as well still link up this to our source. That, uh, let's reduce our vision size. And now let's have a look at this thing. All right, so maybe what we want to do is we'll just start caching it out if this looks good. So let's have a look. It looks like it's working. Okay, I'm just going to put a file cache and then I'm going to cache this out. It's probably a little bit lower resolution than I'm doing right now because this is going to take forever. I'm going to put this to 0.15. I'm going to call this pyro explosion. Let me double check if it's not. Oh, wait. We're in a different directory, so that doesn't should have matter. So this cache is still somewhere else. I just want to make sure that I wouldn't override this one. But we already saved this out uh, outside of our R&D scene, so that shouldn't matter. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to save a couple of frames for this. So I'm just going to save, let's do 50 frames. So I'm going to cache that and then I'm going to report back. Okay, so simulation finished. I did end up simulating it at uh, 0.1 division size. So our, let me have a look at the final frame. So it ends up at 250, 300, whatever. So Probably if I want, if I was gonna do this as a uh, for a final scene, I would probably put it at uh, something like so. This would something like this or something like this would probably be the final size that I'd end up simulating. But I think something like this should be good good enough for now for continuing with the continuing with the tutorial uh, because this will also probably still be fast enough to also pipe in the flip simulation. Uh, without sl everything slowing down too much. And I mean, I kind of like the uh, the look of it. I've, I'd say that maybe, maybe we could turn down the time scale a little bit more later down the line. Uh, I might try that. I'm, I think I'm gonna key down the time scale a little bit more because I think it's a little bit too fast still. But other than that, I kind of like it. And I think I might decrease the velocity that's being sourced from the rigid body things. So I'm gonna try that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably say that I want to multiply the key value here by 0.7. So then it's gonna be lower. So then I don't have to unlink it. I can just multiply that value. Uh, oh, no, by 0.7, so not 7. So and then it will be lower. And I think I'm going to try to use the time scale here to maybe, let's say, 0.4. It's 
So I'm just gonna cache that, see if that looks any better. I'm just gonna do it as a uh, version two and cache that and I'll report uh, I'll report back when that's uh, when that's when that's done.